Greg, and I'm sorry I haven't been uploading. I've kind of had a, a family uh, emergency, so um, the, that's why. So I am here to preview Minnesota United versus Portland Timbers Saturday, July 24th. Kickoff at uh, well scheduled for 7 7 p.m., but probably more like you know 7 7 10 7 08 at Allianz Field in uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. Um, you know, coming into it, Minnesota are uh, are coming off ending Seattle's 13 unbeaten start to the season. Uh, you know, kind of felt, that kind of felt good. Thought Minnesota really, I thought we really, really played well. And um, we really kept kept Seattle at bay, you know. Um, although, you know, Seattle fans might say, you know, uh, you know, they've been hampered by injuries and international calls. But, you know, hey, you know, a, a, a win is a win. And, um, you know, thought, you know, to leave it, you know, leave it late and to leave it, you know, late. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, Lou kind of getting a, a tap in, you know, a tap in and thought that was really you know a good a good game and um, uh, and then uh, Portland are coming off a 2-1 win at home against um, LAFC with a 93rd minute uh, winner uh, by uh, uh, Mora which uh, you know you know how it is and um, and so we did end up playing them previous this season, which ended 1-0 um, uh, to the Loons uh, away. Um, Huno scored in the uh, third minute, uh, the fastest goal in MLS for Minnesota. Um, and then there were, um, you know, and then there was that, you know, uh, um, in incident that you know happened and you know I don't I don't I don't really want to want to you know want to I think you know kind of I think definitely you know we need to address it and you know um, you know you know don't take those allegations you know lightly but at least you know I hope that you know um, even though you know Minnesota you know they need to come out with you know if they're saying you know they're a really inclusive club they need I think they need to come out and uh, you know be more uh, you know specific as far as you know the, the steps they're gonna take uh, with that and so um, you know and then on you know on to, on to the game I think we really need to come out um, strong like like we always seem to do at least for the for for the first half i mean it seems the second half we just i don't know if there's something if we i feel like we really drop off in the second like we play really really well in like the first the first halves of of games and then um the and then you know second it just it's just down downhill from there and you know uh, I think it's you know I think we've seen it a few you know a few times where I mean, there's only been a select few games this season where we've actually seen a good performance over the entire 90 minutes um, so I'm hoping that um, this one can uh, this one can continue uh, and then for uh, my starting uh, 11 I'm going you know I'm going, you know, with Heath, you know, if, you know, if it, if it's not broken, don't change it, you know, four, two, three, one, um, between the, uh, sticks for keeper, uh, I'm going, uh, Tyler Miller, um, you know, I'm, I'm still, like I've said in other videos, how are they gonna, if, you know, if they're considering give, you know, giving, uh, in talks to, uh, extend Dane's uh, contract if they're gonna try to uh, trade trade away uh, Miller to maybe try and get uh, some some cash that they can go and you know maybe uh, 
you know, strengthen our, I mean, strengthen our squad. But I think that I think our depth, you know, this year, I think is, you know, I think kind of every single season Heath has said, you know, I think this is, you know, our be best depth of squad. And I honestly believe this season, you know, we really have a really good deep squad. And so, um, we definitely be interesting. And then for the defense, I'm going with a back for of uh, Chase Gasper, Bakai Debasi, Brent Coleman, and Roman Mentenaer. Mentenaer is now back from France. That's, uh, you know, that's good. Uh, you know, so he can uh, slot right in. Um, you know, credit credit to DJ Taylor when he when you know he came in. I thought he did. I thought he has a really really promising uh, uh, future, and you know I think you know Met is kind of uh, getting you know getting up there a little bit. And I mean, you know, if I were in Minnesota, I'd I'd keep you know I'd keep um, I'd keep DJ Taylor and. I keep them and you know when we you know when we have to you know let go of Metinair I think you know uh, DJ Taylor is he's de his def I think his defensive work is definitely I think he's definitely strong defensively uh, attacking I think you know he could he could use a little bit more help um, I mean the, but he did great um, Boxy uh, Michael Oxall he is still out injured he did, uh, which means he did not travel to the Olympics. But the New Zealand coach said that um, uh, he's still waiting to see that even if uh, if Boxy could maybe play like the last group group game of the Olympics. I mean, I, mm, I mean maybe if they know that they're um, gonna you know advance to the knockouts. But if you know if they're if they don't really have a chance of advancing, I really don't you know, see how, you know, I mean, I guess, you know, you'd always want to, you know, participate in the Olympics and, and, uh, uh, represent your, your national, you know, your, your national team. Um, so there's that. Um, and then, uh, uh, Brent, uh, went with Brent Coleman, but he, uh, you know, he's really, um, I thought when he's, you know, come in for, for box, I thought he's been, you know, really really solid although you know he does have you know a few a few mis you know, a few mistakes in him but i mean so solid for most part and um i mean you know Ch chase gasper there's really uh no nothing else that needs to be said really about him other than you know i think he's i don't know if he's not back to the form you know form that he was you know in when he was looking really, really, really good. And then um, in my midfield duo, uh, um, I mean, you're going Will Trap and Hassani Dotson. I thought, you know, Hassani Dotson is, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, now that they've kind of seen and they're playing, you know, Dotson now as, you know, uh, in his more, you know, natural position, whereas, you know, he kind of made his, Breakthrough with the team, you know, playing, uh, you know, in the full in the f uh, full back pos full back positions, and um, so that's definitely good. Um, and then you know you have somebody like um, you know Will Trap with you know his his uh, it, you know his his experience, and um, you know maybe uh, you know bring on uh, you know Oz Ozzy Alonso, knowing the uh, you know the the I, I would assume they they. They'd bring him on for, you know, um, uh, as a former, you know, Sounder and knowing the rivalry between the Timbers and the, and the Sounders. And then I'm going with the, um, I just think we, you know, put our, um, you know, our strongest, uh, line, you know, um, attack out there, you know, with Fraga, Fraga Pane or Nelson and Lude. Um, I definitely, um, I definitely think, you know, it's really, you know, I feel like at times we're really reliant on Reynoso to create at times. And I feel, you know, um, you know, Fre Fregapane is definitely, uh, I feel like 
he's starting he's starting to get you know used to I mean he already is I mean he's already really started and kind of you know as far as goals and assists I think he's up near up near the top for goals and assists you know uh, per minute um, and then you know uh, you know just getting the the chemistry and then um, up top I uh, you know it's it's you know no no brainer there you know you bring in somebody like Adrian Unu and I know um, you know I think you know they were saying uh, they were saying you know who it was but they were saying like they didn't uh, I mean uh, who knew hasn't really scored more than you know 10 goals in the season but like they really didn't bring I mean you know you want your striker to to score goals and contribute but like they they kind of also bought him just for his um, off the ball movement and that's definitely something that I've been really 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 impressed with is uh, Unu's uh, off ball movement and you know where he pay you know um, the 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 runs he makes and thought that's really good um, so um, you know I'm 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 hoping for a uh, uh, you know, as as always, I always say, you know, for you know, a, a win is a win is you know expected, and but you know, uh, yeah, 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 I'm gonna go and say, you know, a win, you know, it's, this this is a must win, and um, so yeah, that's gonna do it. So make sure to comment your thoughts, your predictions, your start. Uh, opinions uh predictions on the starting lineup and for the and for the game as well um like uh like this video and share so we can grow this uh channel and uh you know become one big uh community so uh with that uh you know there's only one thing to do and that's uh come on you loons